Hi everyone, I'm going to react to My Hero Academia Season 4 Episode 2 Overhaul. Last episode, there was this reporter um, called uh, Tanedo that figured out that Deku was the successor to All Might and um, he told Deku that he's not gonna tell anybody and that he's just gonna, he, like, he took a picture of him and uh, Deku and uh, his quirk was called whole body lens and he because he can manifest like lenses out of every part of his body everywhere so he took this picture and he told Deku that he's just gonna keep it for himself until after he becomes the next All Might I guess and then he's gonna put out uh, something about when the new hero was small was young or something or other so yeah and uh yeah that was basically what happened and we just saw the others um uh ua class one <laughs> class one of ua yeah we just saw them like i don't know not doing much just living and yeah so let's check out this episode and here we go With this <clears throat> episode being called Overhaul, I knew we were gonna get something from him, right? Because he showed up, I believe, either the last episode of the last season or like the last two or something. So, like, I don't know. I didn't know him. I don't know what he, what's his deal. And then he showed up twice. Twice is the one that brought him to the hideout, right? He showed up. And then they introduced him as this, the leader of the Yakuza or something. And they say he's the number two of uh, organized crime. And they're calling their group, what was it called? Shi Hasakai? Hasaikai? He's the leader. And then he showed up and then he started just telling um, Shigaraki, like, you don't have any any plan. Like, yeah, you have the group, but like, what are you doing with it? Uh, you lost, what was this guy? The guy with the long teeth and uh, muscle, uh, what's it called? Muscle, muscle, mu oh, the guy with the muscle, like, you know, that fought um, Deku. And then he lost, who else? It was three of them that he mentioned. I'm forgetting the third person. Like you had those upper echelon villains, but then you lost them like that. So. You really don't have a plan i have a plan so why don't you all just come under me and i'll just you know take over and all that i'm like she is not gonna like that and then when they started fighting you he killed the the other dude what's he called i don't know his name but he's the one that the magnet that turned people into magnets you know he killed that dude in so quick I feel like he, there was two kind of quirks working when he they were fighting when the villains were fighting there was his quirk he took off his um what was it called he took off his, his thing and then put it on the arm of the uh, what was his name i'm forgetting his name let me see okay so he's called magne yeah so shikaraki took off his gaunt leg I'm not saying that gauntlet, but I'm putting the, the term. He took it off and then he like touched him. And then there was some kind of he was just sort of boiled over and then exploded. So I'm guessing his quirk is something that I'm assuming he doesn't like to be touched and um, maybe like he's afraid of germs or something or other. I'm gonna assume that his quirk is something that um, I don't know, like he gives you some kind of sick. Yes, that makes you explode. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm saying. But yeah, he made him explode, man. Like, I was not expecting that at all. He exploded, and then uh, the other the other one, that was the, the second villain. That, um, yeah, the compressed dude. He also came, I thought he, he also was gonna die, but he just uh, sort of like exploded his arm. Or was it the other person? Because there was like, they clearly showed, um, what's his name, overhaul, touch somebody, 
touch magnet and magnet exploded. But then I think with uh, compress, there was this sort of needle thing that just came out of nowhere, and I think it hit him, and then his arm was just like gone. Oh, he's like he, he can't activate his quirk, and then um, overhaul is the one that destroyed his arm or something along those lines. But he's not dead. So I keep seeing that sort of the, the, the needle thing coming like out of nowhere. So I'm like, where is that coming from? And it turns out that there were other people waiting somewhere out there just taking the shot. And yo, like that whole sequence. Overhaul wants the League of Villains. He wants to be the leader of the League of Villains. And Shigaraki is not gonna let that stand. For now, when the others were like, okay, let's go after Overhaul and just take care and kill him, especially the girl, he was like, he kept saying no, kept saying no. And then they showed the scene of the awful one in his daughter's thing. And it's like, you failed again, didn't you? Like, just come up with another plan or something or other. And I feel like Shigaraki is, he said that he's not going to take it lying down, right? But I feel like. Overhaul came and he's like, you don't have a plan. And yeah, he doesn't have a plan. And with um, Overhaul wanting to be the leader and then he wants, Shigaraki wants to, doesn't want to let that stand. He's not going to let it stand. And then he wants to destroy the heroes. I feel like he's going to come up with a plan that's going to use um, Overhaul, right? I don't know, but... The way he just, he didn't want to let the others go after Overhaul. Cause I feel like he, he knows that currently he's not at a level with his villains. That they're enough to take Overhaul down. And to take the Hero Society thing down as well. So he's just biding his time until he finds the perfect plan that's going to accomplish what he wants to do. And that's why he didn't let the others go after Overhaul. I really don't think that Overhaul is going to be the next leader. And even if he does, I feel like it might be a plan from uh, Shigaraki. Like, just let him believe that he is the leader for now. And then he's going to come out from under him. Like, I don't know. He's going to come up with a plan that's going to either take Overhaul down or make Overhaul submit to him being the leader. So that's the overhaul part of it and then you have the deco wanting to start their hero the work study right but it's always like no after they discussed it they're like they're not gonna let them unless they're gonna let a few first years go to um organizations of <sighs> why is it so hard to talk today like he's going to let a few first years go to, you know, those, uh, that are, those organizations that are refutable. <sighs> that are serious with their work study programs and stuff like that. So at first when they said they were not going to let anybody go to the work study, <laughs> Bakugo was so happy because him and uh, Shoto, they messed up during the provisional ex exam. So they didn't get their licenses, right? But they're going to do some courses and then after that, they're going to get it. So the fact that Aizawa said, okay, you're not doing it. He was happy. But then the moment they said they were going to let some first years do it. And he was like, oh. And then Deku goes to All Might. And he's like, introduce me to Sir Night Eye. And All Might was like, no, he was not okay with the first years doing the work study because first, uh, oh no, he said he's not gonna introduce Deku to Naya, ah, right? Because first, he was against the first years doing the work study, second, because um, he wanted Deku to work on his quirk more, and then the third one was that he does not want to like. I don't know if I don't think he, he said something along the, the lines that they were not on good terms or he doesn't want to contact him or something or other. And then he mentioned the fact that what did he say? 
that all might end it up like so like I warned him he was going to end up so I'm like what did he warn him about did he warn him about the fact that you know how all my he just goes like everywhere if he hears somebody's in trouble he's just gonna go there and save people and use his quirk and do whatever he needs to do to save people right did so that I um tell him that the fact that he uses his powers like that he's gonna end up like you know losing his powers and and all that i don't know i'm trying to i hope they touch back on it on why their relationship is not um okay now so because of that he called dogata right and then he tells dogata to <laughs> to introduce deku to Sana I when Togata came there and he's like you are here I'm like so funny and seeing the interaction between um Togata and Deku he remembered when the principal was telling him about Togata and how he could be the next All Might and to, um, All Might is like if I hadn't met Midori at that time so that would have been his choice, I guess. And it's true. Like I said, during the um, reaction itself, when I first met Togata, I'm like, he's like almost like oh my looking. He looks almost like oh my. So I thought that he was the, there might be some kind of relationship between them, like family of a son, a long lost son that he didn't know about or something. But no. And then Togata brings... <laughs> <laughs> Deku to me certain night my eye right and he's like there's a side of him that most people don't know and that he wants you to make him laugh so you better find a way to make him laugh and then when the girl bubble bubble girl I think that was her name or that was her quirk or something when she was giving him the report and he just got out, out of the chair then he strapped her to a, something and was making her laugh I'm like what the freak so if you don't make him laugh, is that what he does to people? Like, I don't know, man. That whole thing was just so weird. And then Deku was... <laughs> he made... <laughs> oh, my face. And the guy is like, are you mocking him? Oh, my God. I don't know what he's going to do to make Sir Night Eye laugh. I'm pretty sure Sir Night Eye is going to... um accept the crew as a work study but how is he gonna convince her that i to accept him that's the problem because Deku is like i don't know how to make you feel all that and the only thing that he thought about was the on oh, my face so, and that didn't work so what is he gonna do next i don't know i love this episode okay and if you like this uh, if you guys like this reaction please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i will see you back on tuesday for my reaction to episode three of my hero academia season four uh, thanks for watching and i will see you next time bye